I've been away for a long time. Oh, okay. A memento. Aria. Sent you a little souvenir of our adventures on Omega Shepherd. Fittingly enough, the king sustained a crack. The king. The chessboard, maybe? Oh, Oleg's chessboard thingy? Took out Omega's trash from Aria. I'm stretching out on my old bed again and thinking of you. Come by any time. Oh. <laughs> that sounds... Okay. Rematch? From Garrus. Let me know if you ever want to rematch somewhere less windy. Those tornadoes on the Citadel are brutal. <laughs> you asshole. Your potential namesake, Jacob. Here's the update. Bryn now wants to call the baby Hackett. Uh, not bad for a girl, I guess. What? Hackett for a girl? <laughs> nice work with the Batarian from Officer Knowles. Thanks for helping me track down those codes. No further trouble on my end. Good luck with the Batarian fleet. Okay, thank you. Zaid, we'll blow them to hell with us. No way we're all getting out of this war alive. Be fun to try, though. Hmm. Well, let's try our best. Let's. Commander. Jaw want to talk while I was away for so long? What's even happening on the Normandy for the whole time I'm away? People just slacking off. Commander. What are you thinking about, Edie? The holographic theory of existence posits we are just two-dimensional information painted oh my on the God. cosmological horizon. However, the holographic consciousness I recognize as myself is only able to perceive matter and energy. Thus, I am able to theorize the true nature of existence but never experience it. Possibly even the Reapers are limited this way. Okay, bad question. Hey, no! If we know what the Reapers perceive and don't perceive, that could be a war advantage. Hello, Shepard. You never know. Like, uh, Reapers have depth perception issues. They only see in 2D. Then we'll try to do, like, some object permanence tricks on them so that we can hide. <laughs> Alright. Dr. Chakwaz? I don't think people have that many updates here. Let's see. Shepard? Remember our agreement? We'd open a bottle of Cerise-sized brandy every year, and it's my turn to buy. But it hasn't been a year yet. Yes, well, something tells me we won't have the chance a few months from now, so... Indulge my impatience. <sighs> uh, I don't like doing things that give it away that we're feeling pessimistic about our chances of winning. But at the same time, we really don't know what's going to happen. You grab the glasses. I'll open the bottle. And Jeff says, Jack, Jacqueline something zero. Sorry, but it's man to me. I'd like to keep my Admiral Winky. Oh, shit. What the hell? <laughs> you know, I just realized. You've never called me by my first name. Well, neither have you. And I never will. You are Commander Shepard. Hero of the Citadel. Conqueror of the Collectors. Savior of the Galaxy. Using your first name just disrespects everyone you're fighting for. Alive or gone. Well, that's not... <laughs> that makes no sense. <laughs> yeah. Consider it a lady's prerogative, then. Come. Let's have a toast. I like to think she brought it up because she wants me to call her by her first name. Definitely a sign showing that we're beyond just the commander and the resident doctor. To a woman, I'm proud to call my friend. I am lucky to have you with me, Karen. And to you, dear friend. It is my great honor to share this journey with you. Commander Shepard. And good fortune. <laughs> To us all. I've learned my lesson this time. Even a Krogan couldn't match you drink for drink. Really? I don't know about that. So, Udina finally went over the edge. I never really liked the man. Now I know why. When did anybody ever? Take care, Commander. Take care, Commander. You as well, Dr. Chakwas. No. We got a bunch of new stuff. I haven't really 
try changing any of this because I'm pretty happy with the armor piercing ammo, but flare flare is great, but it's so slow. Lash could be interesting, but I have some biotic abilities already. I'd rather have something that I don't have. Yeah. I don't need this one because I have an armor myself. Yeah, I don't need armor. I don't need grenades because I have a grenade. Carnage. Well, at the end of the day, I'm happy with what I have. Period. <laughs> That's pretty much it. However, I do want to try some other weapons though. Maybe we'll just like pump them all up in terms of the upgrades and just bring it out and see what happens. How's it going? It okay. How's it going? Could be better. Wish the Reapers weren't trying to kill all of us. That's all. Such a meager ask, but they won't comply. Greetings, Commander. Hey, Glyph. It's good to see you. Good to see you too. Liara? Now, I don't think anybody really... Well, I mean, we could try checking anyway. No, we'll go down and do our weapons, how about that? We'll just take out some random weapon and see how it goes. Hey there. Hey there. Hey, Ashley. <laughs> Javik. How is your hand washing? You're gonna get wrinkly if you keep washing your hands like this. For one who claims to be an expert on my people, your Asari knows very little. We know even less than her. Your Asari continues to question me. I'm beginning to wish her kind had never learned to talk. Commander. There's only so much you can learn based off artifacts and fossils and all that stuff. Having a living Prothean. Yeah, obviously our ideas are a little bit different. Commander. All propulsion systems are running optimal. Nothing to report, Commander. Good. Good to see that the Normandy hasn't caught on fire while I was away. Commander. Okay. The N7 Valkyrie. Should we try taking that out? I'm liking the new you, Esteban. It's about time you loosened up a little. <sighs> not sure how drinking mezcal late into the night makes me a better crewman. How does it not? Gives you heart. You need heart to fight this kind of war. A heartburn, maybe. Seriously, could we at least get some decent tequila? Hey, you're the procurement specialist. Set us up. Yes, and I authorize it. Good dog. Horrible dog. Hey, James. Ready when you are. Sounds good. Cortez, even though we did the whole memorial thing, I still get the sense that he's a bit troubled by... A bit. Very troubled by losing his husband still. I kind of worry about him sometimes. Is everything okay, Shepard? Ma'am. Alright, can we do any changes here? Weapon damage instead of power damage. I like how it looks, but... I do, as I was saying earlier, I uh, I think I rely more on power damage than weapon damage. So this would be good for me. But the other one looks better. <laughs> Health boost? Maybe we can try doing this too. Melee damage, headshot damage, power recharge. But lack of a health. Okay, health and shield. As long as I have my shield, having a lot of health might not even help that much. Maybe that's one way to think of it. Ah, uh, okay. Try this out for a little bit. And... Let's see here... Well, let's pick a new gun. Let's pick a new gun. This is cool, but let's try something new. Chakram Launcher. It's more damage. More damage than the Madoc. Higher fire rate, higher capacity, but also very heavy. What kind of weapon is it? Internal fabricator to manufacture lightweight ammunition discs wrapped in holographic tracers. What? The discs explode on impact. Ooh, this sounds interesting. Oh, yeah, thermal clips, whatever, man. Something, something, thermal clips versus real ammunition. The Revenant. Wait, let's go back to this one. 
so I can compare the stats to the other ones. This one seems like a straight upgrade, except for the weight. Oh, the damage is lower because it's level 1. What about the Valkyrie? This is very heavy. Extremely heavy. I feel like the N7 weapons are always going to be pretty good. But okay, let's try it out. Chakram Launcher? Oh, I already have mods on this? Probably from my... Yeah, it's from the previous stuff. Okay. Yeah, seems good to me. In that case, let's try to like... Pump it up. Is the N7 stuff better by default just because it's N7? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I've got a good bit of money to... Well, not that much. <laughs> Compared to the stuff, the price of the stuff back in the Spectre Terminal, but hey. Worth a little bit of a try. That it? If it's really horrible, that's okay because we'll just rely on powers. That's my backup plan here. Yeah, okay. We'll see how that goes. Alright, crew, are we ready? Uh, what was that about Arya sending me a gift? Is it on my table? It is. The chessboard. It's holographic. Thanks, I guess, Arya. Yeah. We're still missing a few models here. We've got to buy them sometime. Okay, what were we doing before? I completely forgot. Arya did say I can go visit her again, but maybe we'll do that afterwards. Or actually, how is Omega right now? Oh, can we even go to Omega? I don't know. Um, I wanted to come back here because apparently there has been a quest I've been missing. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I believe it's in Purgatory? I'm headed to Purgatory. We'll have a cab ready for you. Is it you? Grimly, you do not understand. The code of the ancients is the collected wisdom of our people. With overwhelming sadness, it was lost when the Kuna fell. Without it, we lack the guidance we need. With certainty, we need the wisdom of our ancestors in these trying times. I'll find it for you, don't worry. Yeah, you guys, half the time, or maybe even Spectre over half the time. Recognized. It feels like you're not even asking me for something concretely practical. It's more like, hey, can you please find some statue for me? <laughs> Which is, you know what? Okay, that's, that's fine, that's fine. We'll find it. If it improves morale, it can't be a bad thing. Do we have new stuff around here? 100, 100? I think we're okay. Yeah, I think the next thing is really just to go to the Quarians. Let's go. Quarian Envoy Ship. Speak with the Quarians. No assets here? Any other systems? Yup. Ma'at. Oh, that's such a small sun. Oh, jeez. Okay, come on, there's gotta be something around here. It's really, really empty, but... Really? Huh? Ah! Reapers eluded. I feel like I'm being duped here. Like, why... How can, how can there actually just be nothing? Faster than light jump successful. It doesn't say the percentage of assets here, so maybe... Oh, maybe there really isn't anything? That was weird. Maybe we'll be back. Dolan. Quarian Envoy Ship. This diplomatic frigate is like no Quarian ship on record. Its hull is relatively low temperature, and it appears to be venting heat in a manner similar to that of the Normandy when it comes out of stealth mode. How the Quarians develop this high-tech vessel is unknown, but its hailing frequencies are open and welcoming messages are being type-beamed to the Normandy. 
welcoming. Commander Shepard, a pleasure hey. to see you again, though I wish it were under better circumstances. I'd hope for your support in the fight against the Reapers. What's going on? Seventeen days ago, with precision strikes on four Geth systems, the Quarians initiated the war to retake our homeworld. Really? Which was a clear violation of our agreement with the Council to avoid provoking the Geth. A treaty violation is nothing compared to recovering our homeworld and advanced AI technology. Your homeworld? You mean Renok? Correct, Commander. Three hundred years ago, we lost our world to our own AI creations, the Geth. After we attempted to kill them? We didn't try to kill them, Chorus. We tried to deactivate them. It wasn't murder. Um, yeah, yeah, the Council. Chorus was the one guy who believed that the Geth were done wrong, but everyone else is basically, oh my god, those Geth tried killing us and taking our home, blah blah blah. Ooh, really missing that third option right about now. I, uh, I don't know, because we're coming- they're coming here for diplomatic relations right now. But even among themselves, they have differing opinions. Well... Hey, let's talk to Legion. Let's talk to Legion. They- the Geth might feel differently now, okay? No, it was murder. Commander, the Quarians never intended to create a true AI. It was an accident. Which you chose to correct by trying to kill them. Don't bother! Admitting we were wrong would undercut the justification for this suicidal invasion plan. I do think invading at a time like this is a big mistake, with the Reapers on the horizon. But I also don't want to like... I want to keep things a little bit balanced, I don't want to just agree with Chorus the whole time. Um... See, I, I feel like, as an outsider, I feel like it's stupid. It's a mistake because of the timing. But to them, this is something they really want, okay? They really, really need because they want their home back. And I'm sure the Geth have killed a lot of Quarians too, so it's not like a... It's not like the Geth haven't done anything wrong. They're still living in the Quarian homeworld right now. You're throwing yourselves at the Geth? Again? And this time, we may have destroyed our people for good. We'd driven the Geth back to the home system. When this signal began broadcasting to all Geth ships. The Reapers. Under Reaper control, the Geth are significantly more effective. Our fleet is pinned in the home system. If we're going to win, we're- Win? You insisted on involving the civilian ships, Admiral Geralt. We need to retreat or we'll lose the live ships. Where's the signal coming from? Here. A Geth Dreadnought. It can outgun anything we've got and it's heavily defended. The Normandy stealth drive can get us in undetected. I could board, then disable the Reaper command signal. Yes. Cutting off the signal should throw the Geth into complete disarray. Letting you retreat. And while they're confused, you get to a mass relay and retreat. Good. Our civilian ships have seen too much fighting already. Are you certain you can disable the signal? We'll get you out of there safely, Admiral. Our newest admiral has also volunteered to offer technical expertise. Oh! Hey! Tali Zora Vas Normandy, reporting for duty. Glad you could make it, Tali. Admirals, already a team to hit that dreadnought. Thank you, Commander. I was just gonna say, there were five admirals. Admiral? It's mostly a formality. I'm an expert on the Geth. That you are. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Oh, I'm not. I just came for the fleet. That's all. <laughs> if I'd known it was this bad, I would have come sooner. You've had your own troubles. I'm sorry about Earth. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy. If you can help us, we'll hit the Reapers with everything we've got. Or however much is left from this stupid war. I thought you'd support the invasion. No. After talking to Legion, I thought maybe there was a chance for peace. Oh, so why help them? I'm an admiral. People look to me for guidance. Public disagreement would divide the fleet. I'll get your people out of here safely, Tally. 
thanks, Shepard. And just so you know, I need to keep things strictly business in front of the Admirals. If you'd like to catch up, let's talk somewhere private. Sure thing. Would you uh, like to come to my room? I'm ready to hit that dreadnought whenever you are. Okay. Alright. So everyone's on the Normandy right now? Hold on. Kalizora, yeah. Admiral Stephen Hackett is... Tali Zora, a Quarian machinist, was born in 2161 on the live ship Raya. During her pilgrimage, a rite of passage in which Quarians proved their worth to the fleet, she recovered a Geth memory core that proved a rogue specter, Saron Arterius, was working with the Geth. As a consequence, Tali Zora became a crew member of the SSV Normandy, where she served under Commander Shepard during the Battle of the Citadel. Tali Zora returned to the migrant fleet following the destruction of the First Normandy. Soon after, the Admiralty Board sent her to the former Quarian colony of Haystrom to recover data on the planet's dying sun. Most of her team was killed when they fell under attack from the Geth. But Tali Zora herself was narrowly rescued by Shepard and the crew of the rebuilt Normandy. The Quarian rejoined Shepard to help oppose the Collector threat, but her current whereabouts are unknown. Yeah, the whole thing about the dying sun on Haystrom, I don't think anything ever really came out of that. They were saying, oh, dark energy, dark matter or something, and then I don't remember it having been brought up too much after that. Before the introduction of the M560 Hydra, missile launchers either focused on bringing down a single armored target or simultaneously neutralizing multiple unarmored opponents. With the Hydra, a soldier no longer needs to choose between the two. The Hydra releases a barrage of miniature missiles, each guided by an independent homing system that seeks out exposed enemies. On impact, three shaped charges per missile explode in sequence. The first overloads the target's kinetic barriers before the second destroys its armor, clearing a path for the third warhead to detonate inside the target. Damn. Did that come from Cerberus then? It was on Omega. All right, Tally, where are you? Ah, oh, you're here. You guys are right here. Commander. Admiral Run. Are all the admirals here? Hey. That dreadnought is tearing through our fleet. Let me know when you're ready to hit it. You're so focused on the task, but I'm like, hey, girl, let's catch up first. So how did you end up back with your fleet, Tally? When the war started, the Admiralty Board asked for my help. I had more recent contact with the Geth than most of my people. They hadn't filled the spot on the board left by my father. I was invited in. It's just a technicality. I'm far too young to be a real Admiral. Don't sell yourself short, Tally. The board needed your expertise. You needed the authority that comes with rank. Yeah, I was just gonna say, man, hey, don't... Exactly, don't sell yourself short. They let you be here and the people accept you, so take it. How did the war with the Geth get started anyway? Admiral Zen developed a scanning countermeasure that interferes with Geth active scans. It's like a flashbang grenade. It effectively crippled the Geth ships in combat. My fleet couldn't pass up the chance to attack. Could we use it to fight the Reapers? It only works against the Geth, unfortunately. Their AI lets them use extremely detailed radar pings. Zen's countermeasure overwhelmed them with garbage data. And it's useless now that the Reapers have upgraded their processing power. Damn it. How is it being back with the fleet? Right now, it's exhausting. I'm an admiral in the middle of a war. I just want us to get out of this alive. Everything else can wait. Not the right time to be asking, really. When this is over, I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. If we survive this, we'll have a homeworld. My people need me. You could help your people's homeworld by fighting the Reapers. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not thinking that far ahead yet. Guys, your homeworld's gonna get destroyed by the Reapers. So what about Legion? It returned to Geth space after you turned yourself into the Alliance. 
And you haven't seen it since? I... Uh, Legion and I sent a few messages. I was hoping we could try negotiation. But I was outvoted three to two. Admiral Chorus was the only one who believed it would work. Any idea where Legion is now? No. In our last message, it told me that the Geth were having trouble reaching consensus. And then nothing? Maybe it was fighting the Reaper takeover? Or maybe it didn't want to give intel to an enemy? I could have warned it about the invasion. I didn't. You'd have been betraying your own people. Tough spot to be in. I never wanted to be an admiral. Well, you are now. So you don't get to talk about that. Talk to you later, Tally. If you want to catch up in private, call me up to your cabin. Really? Like right now? I feel like... Is it okay if we put this off until after the Dreadnought stuff? Because I'm kind of thinking... Yeah, after we do the big stuff and then we relax, right? But then I'm kind of scared it'll disappear too. Shepard, the fleet is under heavy fire. We need to hit the Dreadnought. I'd like to know about your patrol fleet. In peacetime, the patrol fleet managed navigation, internal security, and intership conflicts or crimes. Now, we mostly guard the heavy fleet's flank. It's mostly light frigates or fighters. Tell me about the civilian fleet. Our civilian ships, medical vessels, and live ships. Admiral Chorus coordinates them. Though individual ships' captains still have power. In peacetime, they made up the bulk of our fleet. Now, our strength would even give the Turians pause. Tally said you had the largest fleet in the galaxy. Wow. The Turians have more dreadnoughts. Their overall military force is larger than our heavy fleet by far. But before we began this war, we jury rigged every Quarian ship in the flotilla for battle. Even our live ships have cannons. No, they live on their ships, of course. It's gotta have some weapons in defense. Turians live on planets. You guys live solely on ships. Use what you got. Indeed. With the modifications, our live ship cannons are comparable to the main guns on a Dreadnought. Impressive. They lack the armor of a real Dreadnought. But they can back the heavy fleet formidably when needed. What are you doing, Shepard? You're looking at an iPad while talking to people? Which fleet does Admiral Zen command? Special projects. It's not a fleet per se. Just a few research vessels. Her technical breakthroughs have put us within striking distance of the homeworld. What can you tell me about Admiral Garrel's heavy fleet? It was our main military force before the war. Comprised of all Quarian vessels suited for sustained combat. It can't compare to the Turian forces, of course. But we have a number of heavy frigates and advanced fighter forces. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. Did you just hand the iPad back over or were you just like touching her hand for no reason? <laughs> Alright, well, I suppose we should do the cabin thing right now, just in case. Commander Shepard. Because I imagine once we solve the Quarian problem, Tali will probably leave. Commander? Hmm. Tally, I'm free if you'd like to come up. I'll just be a moment. Just talked to you 30 seconds ago. Thanks for asking me up. I couldn't talk freely in front of Ron. You okay? No, no, I'm really not. Oh no. 17 million lives are riding on me. And I don't know if I can save them. You're doing everything you can. If the fleet falls, it won't be because of you. I helped my father and... And Zen's ideas? The new tech that made an invasion too good to pass up? That's based on my father's work. If they die because of me... If... If I don't... We'll get them out of there safely, Tally. I couldn't do this without you, Shepard. 
I feel like I'm bluffing, trying to convince them that the Admiral's daughter knows what she's doing. Not the Admiral's daughter. The Admiral. I know. And at least now, I can push back against the worst ideas. That's why I accepted the position. And because of you. Me? When they offered me this position, I asked myself what you'd do. I thought you'd take the chance to make things better. That probably sounds stupid. It's just, I know I'm not really qualified for this. You're doing fine, Tally. And thanks. I should get back before the Admirals get into trouble again. I'll talk to you later. Oh, that was fast. I think that's a pretty normal feeling, though. Yeah, you think Shepard knows how to save the galaxy? No, we're all just pretending we know what we're doing and hoping nobody calls us out on our bluff. It's like being an adult, right? Like, oh, you turn 18, you turn 20, now you're an adult? No, like, just pretend to know what you're doing. That's what everyone's doing, basically. All the other admirals are not here? Yeah, okay, I suppose we can get going. Mm-hmm. Does that mean that we gotta go to another place? Like another cluster entirely? Yes, right here. The Perseus Veil disabled a dreadnought. A single system? The Migrant Fleet A flotilla of 50k craft holding over 17 million quarians, the Migrant Fleet is the largest array of spacefaring vessels in the known galaxy. It is a testament to the quarians' strategic skill that these numbers have not dropped significantly during recent battles. The fleet is now on the far side of the star, from Rannoch, the better to cloak its movement from the Geth. Quarians have a little bit of an upper hand here with just moving around, general mobility, and being sneaky, because they already always move around anyway. Whereas everybody else usually lives on a planet, so evacuation is kind of like um, a hard thing to do, right? Geth Debris Field Close to the star, the Normandy scanners can detect a nigh-uncountable number of Geth statites, satellites that use solar sails to self-correct their position. The Geth place the ultra-lightweight constructions around the sun to collect energy, arranged in a vast array known as the Dyson Bubble. Scattered among them are space stations and servers that draw power from the statites through wireless energy transfer. Most of the space stations are wreckage now, and no small number of solar sails have also been destroyed. It appears the Quarians began to destroy them, but were stopped before the attack was complete. Hmm. So maybe we have the upper hand here after all. Rannoch. Although its orange sun is only about 90% the mass of Sol and half as luminous, Rannoch is arid by Earth standards. Photosynthetic life is concentrated around rivers and oceans, with large expanses of desert in between. The importance of plant life and shade in ancient Quarian culture is evident in the translation of Rannoch's name, Walled Garden. Population unknown, Quarian estimates on the number of Geth range from the tens of millions to the single-digit billions. Oh my god. Estimates on the number of Geth consciousnesses stored in the servers are far higher. Right. Because they have consciousnesses and the bodies are separate things. Geth Dreadnought. Scans of the Geth Dreadnought orbiting Rannoch reveal an intimidating array of features from an improved main gun, an ultraviolet anti-ship, anti-ship lasers to increase thruster output. The Geth workforce never demands rest wages or autonomy, and in the creation of their flagship, they were limited only by time and raw materials. The damage inflicted by the Quarian fleet appears minor at best. Of course we're bringing Tali? Come on, it's gotta be Tali and Garrus, right? Wait! Change your, uh, appearance? Not like that? Sure, that's pretty cool. How about you, Tali? Wait, if Tali's gonna be here... Are you staying with us for a little bit? Oh, I hope so. Ooh, look! Matching outfits. Freaking do it. Mm-hmm. Are we sure about this? Okay, we'll see what happens. Well, in this case, I'll switch this back to the katana then. Because I have a little bit of a bigger upgrade on it. Hopefully it's gonna be okay. 
Wait, was it the katana? The piranha. The N7 piranha. Oh, this is, uh, this is Garrus. Yes, I gotta upgrade your sniper rifles, too. Viper. Higher damage. Damage. Shock capacity on a sniper rifle? Increases damage. Sniper rifle concentration mod. This is okay, yeah, you use this. Tally. Using the katana and the little heavy pistol. Talon. Damage. Sure, capacity. All right, six points. Uh, that might not be enough to do everything. We're getting close to maxing out everything anyway, though. Cryoblast. Impact radius. What about the lift grenade? What's the end game here? Slam floating targets to the ground as lift wears off. Oh, whoa. Can we can we even make it that far though? This could be good. Increased Yes, increase impact radius, please. I always miss with this. All the time. Garrus. Hmm. Proximity mine? Sure. Increases damage dealt to targets from all sources. Oops! Oh no, that was uh oh. Okay. That was a misclick. Like that. And then we'll look back here a little bit. Armor piercing ammo is pretty good. Overload. We have overload two. So I'm trying to get you to like have stuff that's different from me. Increase damage. Now Tali. Oh my god. Quarian Machinist. Recharge speed bonus. So Tally is the engineer person, so a lot of tech today. I'm a little bit worried because we don't have Singularity from Liara or Flare from Arya, but we should be okay. We're fighting against Geth, so this is not a bad setup. Is what I'm hoping. Yeah. Drone powers. No, increase recharge speed of squad mates' tech powers. Yeah, I've got tech powers. Ah, your drones! That's right. Sabotage, energy drain. Hit an enemy with his energy pulse to inflict damage and steal barrier and shield power. Wow! Increase damage. Shield restoration rate. Yeah. Reduce damage taken by 40% by gaining a temporary layer of armor by draining shields, barriers, or energy. No. The point of us draining them is because we want to kill people easier. It's not necessarily because I want to make myself buffer. The end goal is to kill people here. Sabotage. And I get the feeling we're probably going to see Legion later on too. Or so I hope. Hey, then it might have been a good one to bring Edie, huh? But it's okay. Tally and Garrus, star combo. Increase damage when enemy weapons overheat. Affected weapons overheat. Hmm. Increase damage when people overheat. Synthetics explode when destroyed. Didn't even need to look at the next one. <laughs> Hacked synthetics fighting on your side move faster and do 100% more damage. Oh, uh, okay. Sounds fun. Sounds fun. Combat drone. Defense drone. Drone explodes when destroyed. Do like this. Alright. We're approaching the Quarian home system. ETA to Rannoch, five minutes. What have you got from the convoys? Pretty much a big old shitstorm, Commander. I have detected several hundred unique ship signatures engaged in active combat. Yeah, like I said. Take us in, Joker. Stealth drive engaged. Only way they'll detect us is if you all start singing the Russian national anthem. Is that a particularly loud anthem? Oh, they're fighting already! Oh 
Oh, it's huge! My cyber warfare suite has accessed their docking protocols. Once we're aboard, we find whatever's broadcasting the Reaper signal and shut it down. Tally's our expert on Geth software. She'll be handling hacking and security. Good to have you back, Tally. And maybe with another Dextro aboard, they'll get better Turian food. <laughs> as long as it's sterilized. Dr. Michelle did get me some Dextro amino chocolate. You're welcome to it once we're back. She got you Turian chocolate? She said she saw it and thought of me. Why? Oh, nothing. Shepard, there's a problem. <laughs> All tubes except one are physically secured. I see the free one. It's pretty torn up, though. Too risky for the whole team. I'll secure the docking area. Everyone else can follow me over. Roger that, Commander. We'll just stay here. You know, quietly. Hang tight. It'll just be a minute. <laughs> what was all that about? Torian chocolate? A girl got you chocolates, Garrus. That seems like there's other meanings behind it. Oh my god. What is this? The movie Gravity? Oh. No wonder the Quarians were having trouble. That ship is enormous. It is 30% larger than an Alliance dreadnought. Oh my god, where'd they even get the materials to make that? Sally, you're gonna like the view. Better than a vid? Much. Oh god. Commander Shepard, if you could walk a little bit faster. It feels like we're glued onto the surface here. Oh no. Because we can't jump. Oh, this is dizzying How to look at. Like Lack of gravity is a little disorienting. Yeah. The dreadnought has artificial gravity. You should be okay once you're on board. Till then, I'll make do with mag boots. Hey, take your time, Commander. We're fine until they, you know, look out a window. Geth don't use windows, remember? Structural weakness. They're just sitting there saying those organics would never try the no windows thing twice. <laughs> mag boots. That's why we can't jump. I don't even know which side is up anymore. Oh god. Impeccable timing. Looks like the rest of the team isn't using the docking tube. So I'm guessing you'd rather not solo the dreadnought. Not if I can help it. Ask Tally to get on the dreadnought schematics. If she can point me at another docking tube, I'll override the controls and let the boarding party on. I'm inside. I've got gravity again. Great. I'm looking for... Got it. There should be a hull breach not far from your position. The nearest undamaged docking tube is on the other side. Until then, we are soloing it with a new gun and no squad mates. I think I found that hull breach you mentioned. Admiral Garrel tried a frontal assault. We lost six frigates. That tiny hull was the only damage we did. I wouldn't call it tiny. Not the way you'd have done it? No, he was too aggressive. I argued, but as Admiral of the Heavy Fleet, it was ultimately his decision. Hmm. What about the other Admirals? Zen backed the invasion, largely as a chance to test her toys. Ron gave provisional support. Only Chorus opposed the war with me, and he was right. We could lose the whole fleet, Shepard. We'll get your people out of here safely. We can get your people out of here one time, but if you're... Admirals are gonna keep recklessly wanting this war, then that's like a different problem entirely. I can save you once, but what about the next time? You guys, I've got to figure out something. I don't think we can walk up here. Can we just walk past it? Good thing I'm wearing black today, huh? 
Those dumb geth can't possibly see me in the dark! Okay, they may have been alerted. Keyword is may. Oh no. Oh, both my guns have so little capacity. What is going on? Rifle that launches explosive discs. Oh no. I foresee this battle being an uphill battle. <laughs> well, we'll see, okay? We'll, uh... Maybe I'll try it out once first. Okay, this is definitely gonna be a problem. Okay, insanity mode with a new weapon. Let's go. I found another airlock. I think we're good to go. Great. If you override the controls, we'll be right there. Can you guys bring another weapon, by the way? <laughs> this is why you want to do the training room to test out the weapons first. Got it. You're clear to board. Quiet so far. They haven't detected us yet. Here, let me see if I can get this open. In the meantime, take a look at this. For me? There, it's open. We're clear to go. Oh, this is the perfect opportunity! I can change all my guns? But, oh, I just talked about how I wanted to change it, but at the same time, I'm like, ah, I kind of want to give it a go just to see what'll happen. What was that? Arc pistol. We can't modify it. Okay. Oh, but it's like super heavy, isn't it? 124. Oh my god. What if I do this instead? Yeah? So two guns that are a little bit different, and I'll fall back on the pistol if anything goes wrong. Does that sound okay? Do you guys want this? At the minimum, Tally. Tally, you might want it. Damage is higher, fire rate is lower. Oh, okay, it's a low fire rate one. Alright, we'll see. Looks impressive. It's Admiral Zen's design. It transmits an energy pulse on contact that disrupts shields and synthetics. That'll be handy. How come I don't get a new gun? Did you find one in your size? <laughs> I, I didn't give it to Garrus, not because I was being biased or anything, but he literally could not equip the pistol. <laughs> so where are we headed? We're looking for an operation center. I can disable the Reaper command signal from there. Where's the closest one? Past their defense network and through a sensor cluster. Gah, oh, vents. Always the vents. Hey, you did fine at the collector base. I got set on fire! No, nonsense! You did wonderful and amazing, Tali. You, you're fine. Guardian battery. Guardian anti-fighter lasers. Looks like they're using ultraviolet frequencies, like the Solarians. Expensive. But it gives them an edge in close combat, though. When the fleet rushed the Dreadnought, those lasers carved right through our ships. Come on, let's get to the op center before they lose more. Maybe we can bring back some intel to help your ships defend against them better. Oh. Watch out! Get the incoming! Hmm. Oh my god, this gun. Uh, if it hits them, it does explode right away. Is this working at all? Did we do it? Stay sharp. More on the way. I don't hear an alarm. They're getting from the most to every unit on this ship. We need to get to the op center. 
operation center before they box us in. Yeah, I'm trying out here. I'm trying. Okay, I mean, it's definitely worse than what I had before, but that might just be because I'm not used to it. It does do a nice explosion. Y'all dead? Okay, okay, I can work with this. Let's try it out. Nope. Hi. They're throwing their lives away. Networked intelligence. As we kill them, their attacks become more aggressive. Disable their shields. And don't give them time to recharge. Yep, we're good at that. We have a full tech team today. How well do I have to aim my discs is what I wonder about. But it actually seems like it's okay. Yeah, once I'm a little bit more used to it, maybe it'll be just as good as the other gun. Definitely like a higher accuracy, lower rate of fire sort of thing. What was that? Where? What am I looking at? Who was that? Who was that? What? I saw like a armored thing, but I lost track of it. Yes, data. Are they coming through? Look, the signal's hitting all Geth processes. The Reapers have them completely under control. We've tried jamming it, hacking it, and piggybacking garbage data to corrupt it. Nothing worked. Do they realize this is happening? Legion, where's Legion? Sensor data. Any sign of how the Quarians are doing? We're taking heavy losses. The Geth have a planetary defense cannon. It's oh my God. Our fleet. Is there anything we can do to help them? Just make their sacrifice worthwhile. Ah. Why do we need to find the operations center? Wouldn't any access console do? No. Anything we do here, the Geth could counter. Too many fault checks and redundancy levels for what we need to do. Oh, they really want me to use something else. Geth pulse rifle? It'd be sweet, but we'll continue on for now. Let's just do one whole mission with this new weapon, okay? If we can. The Dreadnought's operation center is just ahead. Good. Let's cut the Reaper signal and get the fleet out of here. This place is surprisingly humanoid. No, not overload. Understood. Oh god. Understood. Good night from that. Got it. With him. Excuse me? Excuse me? Oh my god. This is insane. The pulse rifle. Yikes. That's the last of them. Let's see if that console is operational. Yeah, there was a bit of a delay for the discs, so we gotta like try to plan around it. No. Definitely feeling the squeeze a bit more already though. Look at how much data the Dreadnought Central Processor is handling. I think it's handling information from all Geth everywhere. So if you shut this down, then... That's gonna disrupt everything then, right? Oh! It's Garrus's mines. That's what that is. I see.
Anything over here? We need to hurry. My people are getting torn apart out there. Oh, okay, okay, sorry, sorry. Damn it, they've locked down the Reaper signal. We can't shut it down from here in the operation center. There, the Reaper signal's coming from the drive core. So if we get there, we shut it down? Right, but how do we get there? The Geth have sealed emergency bulkheads to block us off. We need a route to the drive core that can't be blocked. A path that runs the length of the ship. What about the main battery? It runs right by the drive core. That could work. But? The Geth still have us locked in here. We need to get these doors open. They've locked high-level processes. We need something basic. A shipwide emergency. Like a fire. What about the heat diffusion system? Wait, if I faked a thermal warning, it would open all maintenance tubes for emergency venting. Would that override the lockdown? Yes. Okay, I've got it primed. But be ready. I'm reading hostile geth on the other side of the doors. Whoa. Thanks for the warning. Watch out, they're dropping in. There could be cloaked hunters as well. Oh no, my favorite. Oh! No! Can't see you! I can't see you. Oh god. Hold on. I am getting torn apart. And this is not great. Everybody here is getting torn apart. Oh god. Wait, it's too dark. I can barely tell who's who. Well, the art pistol's not too bad. Arrive. I think making everyone wear black was a mistake. I sometimes it's hard to tell who's who. Look at how much data the dreadnought central oh. processor is handling. I think it's handling information from all Geth everywhere. Yeah. Ooh, definitely it feels like we're in unfamiliar territory again. Maybe the Geth are quite strong and all the the invisibility and all that. Let's try to regain our composure and keep going. I've served on a lot of ships, but nothing like this. The contours are all off. It's not built for organics. Shouldn't be too much farther to the main battery. That is a bug from the mail app. I'm surprised they'd send you on this mission, Tally. Even admirals are expected to serve. I'm better at hacking than I am ordering ships around. Yeah. Against an enemy dreadnought, your combat drone would just float there making that noise. I missed you too, Garrus. <laughs> These two have such great rapport. Alright guys, let's make this quick. Get data everywhere. Garrus says the contours are all wrong, but actually looking around, I feel like it is more human than I expect it to be. Damn it. Priority message. A planetary defense cannon just took down Admiral Chorus's ship. Oh my god. They got to escape pods, and I've got Admiral Ron trying to establish a secure link. Put her through. Shepard, this is Ron. The heavy fleet is collapsing. I don't know how much longer we can hold out. We'll have the Reaper signal deactivated shortly, Admiral. Trying our best here.
Whoa. What was that? It's stopping. No, it's starting back up again. Yeah, it does that wave. Whatever that does. Oh! That's a big gun! Okay, I see. Be in front of that bastard. We should be okay if we stay in cover. More incoming! I think they figured out what we're doing! Understood! Any more shockwaves in the meantime? Be careful, Garrus. Uh, okay. We need to shut it down. Oh. Scared about the shock wave. Okay, that's a little bit too frequent, guys. The missiles are too frequent. Oh my god. Garrus, can you snipe him? You got it. Like, I can barely move here. Oh god, oh god, this might have been a bad choice. Come on. I can't worry about the shockwave and all of this. I can't get out of here because... Oh, this is not a good spot. I can't keep my shields up here. This is a really bad spot. How about here? Oh! Okay, what about up here? It's fine as long as we're kind of in cover. Nothing. Yeah, the sides don't count. It's only the middle section that counts, I think. So, note it for when we fight again. Don't go... There's a lock! ...in the middle. That'll buy us time. No way they'll fire with that maintenance lock in place. Let's move. Let's hurry up and then go then. Guns Woo! Down the line. Come on, let's get out of here. Shepherd! Cut that a little close. Watch your shield! Stick to cover! Mm hmm. Guys, they're far. We have to like, yeah, do what Tally's doing. Move off to the sides. That'll make it easier. Oh god, there's a freaking mine right in front of me. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Nothing back here. Why are you in the dark like that? You're scaring me. Just checking out this side, nothing? Ow. 
What are you seeing? Guy there. We can't do any biotic combos with anybody today, besides for myself. Oh, rocket to the face again, Garrus! I get it, you buddy! Damn it. Guys, don't just stand here. We'll die. Oh God! <laughs> they have their own minds too, it's not just Garrus. Yeah, I'm not escaping any of those, huh? I don't think so. No. Oh, we're just hearing it. Okay, that scared me. <laughs> we gotta go. The Quarians are relying on us. No! Ah, oh, They've got so many missiles! No! Hopefully we're done with elevators. And come on, the drive course shouldn't be far. Yeah, I hope we're done with elevators too. I can't wait to switch back to the other guns. <laughs> Even though I willingly kept this one. But hey, I gave it a fair spin, so I feel like it's that's reasonable enough. Legion? Shepard Commander, help us. Legion. Good to see you, Legion. We'll have you out of there in no time. Shepard, wait. The Geth are being controlled by the Reaper signal. Right. This thing. So for all we know, Legion is with them. Maybe it sided with the Reapers voluntarily. Or maybe it's hacked. I think that's a very reasonable... suspicion. But I do want to believe Legion. Legion helped us fight the Reapers before. There's no way it would have agreed to this. Your caution is understandable. Once freed, we will submit to any restraints you deem necessary. I never thought I'd say this, but... It's good to see you again. Likewise, Creator Zora. So what is this thing? It uses our networking architecture to broadcast the old machine command signal to all Geth, simultaneously. Then getting you out of there will shut off the Reaper signal. Wait, you cannot simply remove the restraints. We are secured via hardware blocks nearby that shackle our operating protocols. The hardware blocks are on the far side of the room. Well, it can't be that hard to get to. Bar 
far side of the room, you said? Yes, deactivation should be simple. The Geth protected them against viral attack, not physical removal. How'd the Reapers get control of the Geth? They did not. The Creators attacked. The Geth wished to live. The old machines extended an offer. So we went to that Geth station and rewrote the heretics for what? Nothing? Yeah. No, you successfully rewrote the heretics. The decision to ally with the old machines was difficult. Had the Creators not attacked, it would have been unnecessary. We'll have you out of there soon. Sounds like they only joined the Reapers because the Quarians attacked. Oh no. Nothing excuses an alliance with the Reapers. They could have found another way. Some would say the same about Turians curing the Genophage and allying with the Krogan. Damn it! I begged them to negotiate rather than attack. I did. Let's just get Legion out of there. Let's not think about what's done already. Just think about how to move on from the situation. That's very frustrating to know though. If the Quarians hadn't attacked, the Geth might have just allied with us to fight the Reapers. <sighs> but that's what this galaxy is all about. It just seems like we can never agree on anything. Ever. Got it! Talizora to fleet. The signal is about to go offline. This is Admiral Hangel. We're in your debt. Hardware blocks offline. We are free. Kila. As a gesture of cooperation, we have disabled the Dreadnought's drive core. All weapons and barriers are offline. Okay, I'm ready. Come on. Alert! Geth reinforcements incoming! Oh god, oh god. Geth are scary, they're strong. It's very hard for me to aim. On the double. Acknowledge. Okay, maybe I should be using overload more for the comboing. Because we're not gonna get biotic combos today. Oh damn it, nice dodge. There's an invisible guy there! Oh my god. We can't waste this chance. Heavy fleet all forward. Take out the dreadnoughts. Patrol fleet, hold position. You do that, and the heavy fleet gets wiped out. And if we die, simple retreat won't save you from the Geth response. Damn you, hero. Damn it, what are they doing? Focus on the Geth. We'll worry about the Admirals later. It's setting up turrets. Are you serious, Admiral? Wait, is there is there a mine right there? I thought I saw the guy throw it. Oh! I think the Geth Prime might have gotten stuck a little bit earlier. Good for me. God. Uh. 
The only person I'm comboing with today is myself. I got a combo with myself. Quit it. Quit it with the missiles. Oh god, you're right here. Oh god. Will do. No. Ow. Not the greatest spot. Wait, do they just normally walk that slow? I guess so. It's like the one way we can best them. Yo, no ammo. No ammo anywhere! Not a single bit of ammo. We gotta find more. Hello! Can I get ammo somewhere, please? Anywhere? I seriously don't have a single piece of ammo, what the heck? Okay. Some of those old farts have got to go. All ships open fire. Shepard Commander, the Creator Fleet is firing upon this vessel. Without barriers, this ship will be destroyed. We must evacuate. We need to get to the escape pods. Gaff transmit intelligence is via remote signal. We do not use escape pods. Suggestions? Gaff fighters are docked in a port side fighter bay. We can pilot a fighter to safety. Okay, now we really have to test Commander Shepard's leadership skills because I don't have any ammo. Okay, great! Shepard deplete! Hold fire! I repeat, hold fire! They're not responding! Damn it! Shepard Commander, we have taken control of docking protocols. Uh, we'll be right there! These guys are doing us dirty, man. We help them and now this is what they do? Tally is on the ship! Don't even talk about me. What about your own admiral? Ridiculous. There better be punishment for this. Warrior bastards! Shepard Commander, we can only launch from the upper level. Let's go! They're closing the door! Hurry! We're Don't losing the battle! Oh. Normandy to Shepard, reading a loss of gravity. You okay over there? Fine. We're leaving in a Geth fighter. Thumbnail. Transmitting rendezvous coordinates. Does the storage compartment have adequate room, Shepard Commander? We're fine. Go! Not worrying about that right now, Legion. Let's go! So I know which one is you. Wow, that was actually a pretty intense ending, huh? Fighting down to our very last bit of ammo, we escape. Now we go back and talk to the Quarians. 